I'm Jason Sussman, I'm the architect on Breakpoint. It's one of the maps you'll be playing in the Noble Map Pack. And my name is Raymond Broskovac. I was one of the two finishing artists on the space. I was responsible for terrain, snow, rock, that wonderful stuff. Uh, I'm Matt Benier, I'm also a finishing artist on this level. Uh, I worked on a lot of the structures and buildings that you find throughout the space, such as the, the uh, lab and the hub. And uh, for the most part, I just pretended to uh, contribute to the team. I'm Derek, I'm a designer. <laughs> uh, this is Breakpoint, it's really big. It's really snowy. Avalanche 2 electric boogaloo. Oh yeah, this is Jason. Did Jason introduce himself? Jason Sussman, the man who invented Avalanche? <laughs> That's right. That's right, suckers. Well, if you liked Avalanche, you'll love Breakpoint. <laughs> because it's unlike it. <laughs> In just about every it's, way. It's, it's in the snow and it is snowy, yeah, though. It has snow. It's Avalanche sans uh, man cannons. I'm going to go on record and say that Mike Bielterman made Avalanche, finally, after all these years. All right, so Breakpoint is Definitely the largest map in the Noble Map Pack. It's designed primarily for the invasion game type, but will also be used in big team battle. One of the challenges on these maps, just having them be as large as they are, is that you get a lot of uh, viewpoints where you're looking back across a map, and so we're constantly having to balance memory and budget to give it the same level of fidelity that you get on a smaller map. And I think especially like when you have architectural elements like buildings on a large map, it becomes even more of a problem because terrain only has to be so detailed and you see like a human scale building, you expect there to be a certain level of detail. In other words, I got the easy job. No. Oh. <laughs> Basically, the weight of the, of the visual look of the entire level kind of rests down Ray's shoulders as far as the terrain goes. Absolutely, the terrain is definitely the hero of this map. Yeah, and from a high level design goal was to make this an invasion map that is big enough for invasion, but that we use more of the space. So there's some cool circuits through it for vehicle combat. Yeah, we definitely want to be, make it where you could still drive around and have fun and actually have enough space that you don't feel like you're getting cramped or you're running into anything that's going to slow you down. There are plenty of vehicles. The elites get ghosts and oh. wraiths <laughs> with a banshee in the third phase while the Spartans get the Falcon, as well as a Rocket Hog and a standard Warthog. The Rocket Hog makes its triumphant matchmaking debut in Invasion. It's been in Forge World, but it's just too much fun. Yeah, actually, out of all the like uh, large-scale, big-team style uh, maps, I think this one's my favorite for the aerial combat between like the, uh, the Banshee and the uh, Falcon. Definitely. All right, so in Breakpoint, the elites are trying to basically get at the UNSC science installation. Spartans don't want that to happen, of course. I think it's also the first time we've seen like UNSC really tapping into the Forerunner stuff as far as fiction and stuff like that. You've never really seen any kind of like UNSC this close to the Forerunner except for like the Oni buildings and whatnot. Also fictionally, this is, this is all tied into the Oni base. This is basically like another, it's basically a site B to that. This is where they uh, Siphon the beautiful science out of the uh, forerunner structure. Yeah, that's one thing I really like about guess, this project is how he made science into a noun. Exactly. He's now science. still in science. It always was a noun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a concrete noun now. Yes. It's something you can carry. Well, everyone loves science, but this is science in suitcase form. That's right. Yes, we've we've packaged science. Yep. Shows that the humans had. And they're hiding. They're Contact hiding with the Forerunner stuff much more than we thought. And they're hiding the Forerunner really well as it hangs out over the side of the mountain. Well, that was revealed <laughs> by the glassing beams. <laughs> Silly. That's right. Glassing beams. How did this Forerunner structure get trapped in the mountain? I think we decided that they accidentally teleported into the world. Hey, Forerunner like, stuff's oh. mysterious. That's how they travel. They're just like constantly teleporting around. They just like sometimes end up inside of a planet. That is just speculation. <laughs> <laughs> this is not canon. This is speculation. <laughs> That's canon. In fact, no canon. nothing in this playthrough <laughs> is canon. Out, they're like ratty. Oh, this is on Reach? It's on Reach. Come on. It's the part the Covenant didn't find. Well, they just found it. Well, they're here now. They're here now. <laughs> they just found it in the DLC pack. Jerks. From Matt, Ray, Jason, and myself, that was Breakpoint. Noble Map Pack drops November 30th on Xbox Live. Go get it. Thanks. Hope you guys enjoy it.